Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. And Kralyug has finally decided that all these little extra updates he's been given to name them 1.7. <laughs> uh, took a little bit of time I guess, but he's uh, finally decided that it's about time. Because um, we've moved away quite a bit from like the stuff we had in 1.6 now, so... Yeah, um, there's a few things he's added. And there's a few things we need to talk about as well, which is uh, fairly important. So first off, I'll go through some of the stuff um, that's been added since last time. Now I need a little bit of water for some of this. So I'm going to ignore everything that's going on in the game, with the exceptions of um, what I'm doing right now. So the first thing is under docks. Do, 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 do. Here we are. So we've got a dock rail and um, a dock fence. Yep. So, I haven't got any docks because we're not really a water map, but if we put one of those in and let them build it, and we'll come back to the rest of that in a second. We've also got uh, the ghost hedges, which are these ones, so this isn't the ghost version at the moment, but I believe if I build this now, oh, I can't click on it yet, um, it won't have that thing where we have to make it pass uh, impassable. So remember, if, I think it was an episode or two ago, when we were building these, I had to click on them. Ah, oh, there it is, that icon. Where did it go? That one. I had to click this to make them impassable so they couldn't walk through them. I've not done all of them yet. But I don't know if he's actually removed that or not yet. We'll see when that one gets built. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, he said ghost hedges. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> ghost hedges. So, you can place them anywhere you want. Fantastic. And I think while we're in hedges, I don't think he listed it in the same place. I think it's a little bit further down, but we've got a double width one as well now. Um, so we got the original one and this one. It looks a little bit stretched on the top, but I guess we can make that work anyway, as it's a ghost item as well, which means we can do as we please. We can like jazz it up a little bit. Here we are. So we got this little fence that goes on one side, and unless it's me, I don't think it quite lines up on the other side. It's slightly off. Again, all these things are work in progress. So if it's not quite right now, um, it'll probably get fixed. And there's the, this one as well, which seems to sit a little bit more flush. So when it comes to building docks and things, these are going to add some uh, like great extra features. Um, what, what, what else have we got? I'm just trying to read for an email. Um, ghost fruit trees. Now it says vanilla trees on corners. I'm not too sure what he means by that, but... We got all these things, which are now ghosts. So we can place them anywhere. Am I in the wrong menu? I keep forgetting to go in the ghost menu. There we are. Try that again. There we go. So again, it allows you to get things a little bit closer to some of the buildings as well. Um, what else? Ghost wild trees. So that's all of these trees, including some of these new ones as well. Uh, separated key wall trim, straight and diagonal pieces. Now, <laughs> for those of you that watch Sky Storm. Uh, you'll know the torment he goes through when he's using these things. So we've got the original, um, where's it gone? The original one. I don't know why they're not next to each other. So, which, we can rotate it, but we can't switch it to, to the uh, to the diagonal. But it's now its own separate piece, which will make things easier, especially when you want to just keep placing things along. You don't have to worry about it auto-rotating, which is quite cool. Um, he says most decorations don't flatten terrain, so it's just something to be aware of, I guess, but you could probably use that to your advantage at times. But we do have the flattening tool anyway if we need to. Um, two wide hedge arch, yep, we've covered that one. Uh, crop field, pasture, orchard and plantation default to one worker always, so I think it usually is three workers they default to, so if you drop one in, it's defaulting to one, which I think is a lot better. I'm not going to remove it because I'm not going to save this. <laughs> um, so, dock building. Um, driftwood scavenger. It says, dock building that generates logs or firewood. Is that a new building? Because I've not really gone for a map where I have a lot of water building. So, let's have a quick look. So, bear with me a second while I have a quick look in here. Dockwood finder. Um... I'm going to guess it's in here. Storage. Unless there's a building in here, maybe. Logging barge. Aha, there it is. Collects wood, 
logs or firewood from the river. Ooh. And it can be placed out here as well. It's a, Again, it's a little bit strange why it's in this menu, because it, it looks like it belongs to, to this kind of set as well, but I guess... We place it on land? No, we can't. So I think Kralia, you've put that in slightly the wrong place, maybe? I don't know, it depends on how people see it. I didn't place that little rail down, did I? Let's put let's try that again. I'm gonna take that around. There we go. Didn't click my mouse firmly enough. But again, I like this. I'm trying to think different things we could probably do with that. Um anyway, um, we got ghost flower beds. Thank goodness for that one. <laughs> so we can place these absolutely anywhere. Ah, I see what I mean now. They're not flattening in the train. They look a bit weird in places. Okay, that's cool. Uh, ghost statues. Uh, ghost signposts. That's one thing I've not used for a while, actually. I don't know if he's done any more models. No. Okay, and what else? Other ghost decoration. Ghost crops on corners. Ghost resort. Oh, on corners. I see what he means by on corners. I think. Is it the... Allows you. Let, let me just double check before I go off on a tangent. Vanilla trees on corners. Unless. Mm, 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 bear with me. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. Ghost crops. So we go into here. Ah, yeah, this is one of the new things as well because before they were in this menu and you couldn't place them on top of other things but now you can oh I see they are on corners the light literally on the edge of the square so it's kind of overlapping kind of like that actually that's kind of a cool idea because you can have like decorations down the edges of your paths um, some of these plants would look better for that like maybe the tomatoes um, ghost resource piles it also says on corners Excellent. I kind of know why he's done that. <laughs> oh, and this is one that was requested by Noble Rambler, and this one I have not tried yet, but I do believe it has a few issues. And this is a double width bridge. So, we put that piece in. Is that the centerpiece? A bridge probably made from stuff. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with this, so this should be interesting. Let's give it a go. Okay. I'm assuming I'm doing this right. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be slightly longer there. I should have made sure it lined up. But let's let's see what actually happens. Where's the increased priority? Let's get them to do that. Yep, yep there's that little rail, which is quite nice. I like that too. And that's it. That's everything that's currently in. And this will be version 1.7.005. Bearing in mind for those of you that have been watching... Um, everything that I've mentioned previously, um, what have we got there, all the different colour trees and, and various other ghost items, they are also included um, in the current 1.7 beta version, or alpha version, should I say that he's, um, he's named it. Um, another quick thing, for those of you that are watching Night Ghost, I'm not going to go into too many details at this point because it's not been discussed properly, but... Um, we've had a super mod made, and that would be Noble Rambler, um, myself, Night Ghost. Um, and I say we've made it, Kralyug's made it, and he's combined like most of the most popular mods. Um, I've got an entire list of them here, but I'm not going to read them out because it's, geez, there must be more than 20 mods. Uh, and that includes this, this version that we're using now, this 1.7 Alpha. Um, the new version of um, New Medieval Town, the Choo Choo as well by Red Ketchup. I'm just having a quick look. There's all sorts of things in here. <laughs> There's literally tons and tons. So literally everything I'm using now and more. Uh, most of them are black liquid, but there is a few in here that are not. Uh, There's someone called Discrepancy. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever had anything made by him. I do believe once 1.7 goes live that this mod um, will be released. I don't know what he's going to call it. Oh, he's called it the Mega Mod. There you go. So it'll be literally one download. It'll have all of the decent mods in it. And you can just play away to your heart's content without worrying about having to go and get all the different things. Plus, it makes it easier if you're watching one of us. 
because most people have been asking me, oh, what mods are you using? What's this, what that? And now I could just give one link and say, enjoy yourself. Um, but that's going to be um, going through some testing um, by a few different people, um, myself included. So that brings me on to the next thing. Because I can't use that mega mod with this save file because it just wouldn't work. At least I don't think it will because I can't, no for one, I can't upgrade my new medieval town mod to the newest one. It just wouldn't work. Do you wish me to carry on with this one and carry on with the like, the updates to the beta because obviously Kralyug is going to carry on doing that. Or do you want me to switch to the mega mod which is going to give me, I'd say there's at least 20, could be more different mods and most of the um, up to date versions of them as well. I'm quite happy to carry on. Um, we are getting to the part now where I guess a lot of it is done, but it's probably still going to be, I don't know, let's say another 20 episodes worth of work, depending on how much I time lapse and things like that. Uh, but still, it's it's got to be at least 20 episodes. And as you probably noticed, I've not been putting as many episodes out as I usually do. And um, yeah, life is just life, <laughs> let's say. And it's been, been difficult um, to get as many done as I want. But... The choice is up to you. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in those little annotations that you get up here. I think they work on mobile phones and iPads and all that as well. Um, you'll have a vote and it'll be um, yes to continue uh, with this town or no not to continue and switch to the new Mega Mod and use that. There is also another little surprise, um, but I haven't discussed it with um, various people yet. So, yeah, just keep your eyes open. There will be something coming um your way and i think you'll all enjoy it very much but as i've not discussed it with the various parties i'm not going to mention anything just yet so i'm gonna leave this episode if you can call it an episode right here and i'll probably do another episode straight away um, while we carry on with what we're doing while you guys figure out what our next move is so until next time as always take care <laughs>